Now officially there are over 40 different kinds of four-wheel motorsport in the world. You have NASCAR, you have IndyCar, you have Formula 3 and the elusive Formula 1. But regardless of where a driver goes in his or her career, there is only one place where they all start from. And that my friends is karting. But before we begin, we have a special surprise at the end of this video for our subscribers. And trust me guys, you don't want to miss out on this one. Now karting is the foundation of four-wheel motorsport and at the very top of that sits a category called Rotax Karts. And the good folks at BPC Racing have kindly offered us their championship winning Rotax Kart for us to test out over the next two days. 125cc two-stroke motor that produces 28 bhp, revs to 11,500 rpm, weighs 85 kilos, no suspension and one single disc brake. In a 300 meter stretch, this kart can hit triple digit speeds. No driver aids, no traction control, just you and the track. Helping me get to grips with this kart is Kush Maini. I'm Kush Maini, I'm 16 years old and currently racing in Formula 4. I started off with karting when I was 5. I had a successful karting career in Europe. I really like the road type start and it's a really good kart, it's a two-stroke engine and it's really fast on the straight. You know, you have to go really smooth on the throttle out of the corner or you bog. You can try different things, like you could do a 20 lap run and be within a tenth of a time, which is really, really important. Your focus is really, really important, especially when you go and move on because one mistake can cost you a race. Okay, I've spent a couple of sessions on the track and my arms already feel like jello, but boy, it has been such a rush. I thought it'd be a good idea at this point of time just to walk you through a few more fun facts about the Rotax cart. So this is the fuel tank. Uh, it's a mix of oil and fuel. This is a two-stroke motor. This is effectively just a fiberglass seat. There's absolutely no cushioning. And these things tend to dig into your ribs when you're pulling two and a half Gs in a fast corner. You have a 230mm brakes in the back, you can see that they're ventilated, they're drilled, it's hydraulic and it's a two-pot caliper. Uh, but as you can see, the brake is mounted to the axle. It's tricky to get the braking right because there's no ABS on this and the brakes lock up like that. And the moment they lock up, you're effectively locking up the axle, which means that your back is going to wash out. This is a 28 bhp 125cc motor. Again, it's mounted to the axle. So don't even think about braking and accelerating at the same time because again, you're going to wash out. Now this being a two-stroke motor, you can't just flow the throttle. You have to feed it and you have to be very precise with the throttle because the fuel will over flood the carbs and the whole cart will bog. Very important to brake in a straight line. I had a couple of times where I spun out only because I just gave a few centimeters of steering input while braking. It's a Rotax cart, so there's no sort of assist on this and it weighs up incredibly when you're on track. As you can see, there's absolutely no suspension on the cart itself. So you feel every single corner. It's very, it's very easy to know what the cart is doing. And as a result, the more calm you are on the cart, the faster you will go. So I've had a couple of sessions with the cart. The instructor seemed to be happy with my speed. So I'm gonna go back now in a couple more laps after I take a little bit of a breather and start pushing further. Hi, um, I'm Rahul. I'm basically the team manager at BPC. Uh, well, a Rotax cart is pretty much a fundamental formula car in a lot of ways. It's a stepping stone to formula car racing and it helps in terms of basics. The key to being quick in a road tax is being smooth. One thing that I've noticed that I personally like doing is sending a driver between two quick drivers. So not only does he have to defend the driver behind him, but also you know, try overtaking the driver in front of him. 
We've been competing in the National Karate Championships since 2014 and every year we've been competing and we won a national championship. Last year we won two in our junior and senior matches. Future plans would be ideally international expansion but that's a long way off. So we ideally want to create a platform where drivers aren't stagnating in just Asia and India. We want to give them an opportunity to really, really move forward with their careers. But ideally what needs to happen is India needs to become the hub of Asian motorsport. And we're working towards it. Let's see how it goes. I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. It may not even happen. But that should be everyone's aim at the end of the day to help the sport grow. We got a couple of interesting drivers this year. Uh, one's obviously Alex, who you met, and I saw him putting on makeup in the morning. I don't know whether he's bent or not. Uh, <laughs> we've got. Come <laughs> on, so my name is Alex Bora. I uh, I'm from Assam. That's. <laughs> can you guys please go? No, please. You you can watch it later, yeah. So uh, initially when I came. Uh, my name is Anvir Singh, and my age is uh, six standard. My years twelve. My check, my check, checking mic. I feel nice when I go fast. I won't be Formula One. I've been racing for four years. And on this corner, you should go flat out. In 2016, I became a champion. Hamilton is my favorite driver because because he he every time comes first. <laughs> I gotta say, at the end of day one, Kushmani has been incredibly helpful. He's been giving everybody a whole bunch of tips and is also helping the team members of VPC Racing. So we'll find out tomorrow how much this has actually helped me when it comes down to my final times. Super. Yeah, I'm, I'm Arjun Maini, 19 years old from Bangalore. And I'm a MRF uh, Cadet Champion in 2007. JKTIA National Junior Champion in 2011. Asia Max. Invitational winner 2012, second in the BRDC Formula 4 Championship in 2014 and currently racing in the GP3 Series. To drive anything on the limit is really important for a racing driver and that's why I still come back to karting to get back to the roots and to go through the basics again to keep myself sharp. When you're young you're a bit lost, you don't know what you're doing and you can get frustrated really quickly so it's important to have somebody to, you know, calm you down and that's that's what's really good in BPC because they have the videos and they've got the data. You need to see the, the more experienced drivers in the country helping the younger ones which I think it's not as much as it as it should be. For me Indian motorsport is, is on the right track because you can see a lot more Indians are getting into Formula 4 last season, uh, getting into Europe and bringing that exposure back to India. No, I think it's, it's really good to have a, a brother who's also into racing, always pushing each other to the limit, you know, whether it's a gym session or a day in carts, we're always pushing it to the maximum and that's how you improve, you know. Okay, so here we are at the end of the testing session for two days and what a two days it has been. Uh, I'm completely battered, but the feedback that BPC gave me with the driver coaches, especially the Miney brothers, really helped with my times and really helped me understand the Rotax cart and even tame it in the corners. It is a very tricky machine to drive, but there is nothing in the world like it. I promised a little surprise for you guys at the end of the video and here is the surprise. The good folks at BPC Racing have agreed to sponsor not one, but two fully paid testing sessions at a city near you. Yes, you can get your hands on a machine just like that at a city near you. All you have to do is be a subscriber on our channel. Go ahead, share this video with the hashtag support the sport and team BPC Racing with PD. You know what to do, drop in your comments below, let us know what you thought, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, don't forget to share this video to support the sport some more and until next time, goodbye. My throat is dry, I, I can barely speak, my ribs are a mush, are an absolute mush and I need a minute
can just catch him, catch my breath. Whew.